and last week we planted up our vegetable garden and remember how we told you that you need to be checking on your garden regularly in addition to watering well we're going to tell you why today last week we planted some of our fall and winter veggies we planted spinach even though we really like to wait till it cools off just a little bit more and this is why it has just totally disintegrated in the heat we do so yes we sell spinach now but that's because some gardeners like to get a jump on it and they're most likely protecting it with shade cloth or growing it in a pot where they can move it around in some shade. Spinach really takes off when the cool weather finally breaks in. So inspecting our garden here, uh, looking at Swiss chard, it looks a little bit sunburned, kind of sad. So we're gonna keep an eye on this and, and see how this is doing. But the main thing we found today is that cabbage loopers have already scouted our coal crops. Um, these guys are very sneaky and when they are just starting out, it's very hard to see them. Um, they're just teeny tiny, unless you have really good eyesight and have committed to checking on your gardens every single day, you will most likely only realize you have cabbage loopers when, they be when you begin to see the damage on your plants. We didn't even see these guys yesterday and look how quickly uh, they achieved this damage. I'm sure their moms would be happy, but we're not. This is what we're looking for right here. So you've got to look really, really closely. Sometimes they uh, are along like the veins here. Um, sometimes they like to crawl inside here. So you've got to inspect the backs of the leaves, look, look for them. But if you see the damage, they're there. You just need to find them. So some good options uh, for these uh, cabbage loopers is BT. And then we also have spinosad. And spinosad um, is, is a different chemical. Uh, it will um, kill a wider range of things, um, whereas BT just kills caterpillars. Now, just with that being said, being that I'm a pollinator gardener, I just want to mention that it does not discriminate. It will kill good pollinators too, good pollinator caterpillars. These, this is a caterpillar spray. So it will kill caterpillars and worms. The spinosad, um, as I mentioned, it covers a wide range of uh, bugs. Uh, however, the cabbage loopers can start developing a resistance to the BT. So you might want to alternate um, one time doing the BT, the other time doing the spinosad. Spinosad, however, does kill a wide range of things. So you have got to be very careful to only apply this in the evening while bees are not present. If the bees were to land on this while it's wet, it will kill them. And we, that is certainly not the goal. So uh, another reason you're doing any of these things at night, the, the BT or the spinosad, is because they will burn your plants if you do them in the middle of the day. Now, for the sake of this video, we are going to apply it in the middle of the day so we can show you how, but then we're gonna yank those plants out because they won't make it uh, being with the heat just directly on them with those pesticides. So it's very important to read your labels. You will need to reapply this. Uh, they are just gonna keep coming and the name of the game is control. Uh, you've got to keep these guys under control and you've got to start as soon as you start seeing any kind of damage. Uh, Molly Keck, our um, uh, Bear County uh, Master Gardener Entomologist, um, she uh, did a class the other day and she suggested that you do it even before the cabbage loopers show up. She said, you live in Texas, you plant this, they're going to show up. So she said, just go ahead and start applying it and get on a regular schedule. But again, make sure that you read your labels. Karen Gardner, who is a Bear County Master Gardener vegetable specialist, did a class several weeks ago. And she said when she applies these chemicals that she will wash them off in the morning. She applies them at night, uh, lets them sit overnight, and then washes them off in the morning because they have done what they need to do. And she just feels better about washing it off. And I would probably do the same. So you want to make sure that you completely cover this plant in the BT. Let me make sure it's opened. That would help. All right. So we're going to spray, getting way down deep in here. I'm going to spray on the backs of the leaves, on the fronts. I'm going to get this good. Make sure you're wearing gloves. As you can see, this can get messy, but if you want to get these done right, got to get in there and get them done. So we hope this video has helped you. 
Um, and actually, I saw a weed here. Look at this. So I pulled this guy. Early detection is key with the pests and the weeds. Uh, if you can uh, detect them quickly, get on top of that, then you will be successful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.